In this video, I am going to explain introduction, principle, types, practical aspects, support medium used and buffer used in electrophoresis. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe it. Now let's start introduction and principle of electrophoresis. Ern Tessilus in 1937 invented the technique of electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is a separation technique. It is mainly used for separation of nucleic acids, proteins, peptides, etc. It is a common technique used in biochemistry and biotechnology lab for separation and identification of biological samples. Electrophoresis can be defined as migration of charged particles through a medium under the influence of electric field. Particles or the molecules with net positive charge will move towards cathode and the particles or molecules with net negative charge will migrate towards anode. For example, if we place a sample which is a mixture of cations, anions and neutral ions in a support medium or in a solution and then we apply the electric field, the particles will start migrating. Anions will move towards anode and cations will move towards cathode. The neutral ions will not show any migration. So in this way the electrophoresis can separate the molecules from each, each other based on the charge and size of the molecule. Now in case of DNA, RNA, these molecules are having negative charge because of presence of phosphate group in their backbone and that's why we can separate them by using electrophoresis. The rate of migration of cations and anions is depending on various factors. Those I am going to explain in the next video. Now we will move towards uh, types of electrophoresis. There are mainly two types of electrophoresis. First is zone electrophoresis. In this method, an inert polymeric support medium is used between the electrodes to separate the analyte. And second is moving boundary electrophoresis. In this method, the electrophoresis is carried out in a solution without support medium. The electrophoresis is carried out in buffer solution. Now zone electrophoresis, it is having further subtypes. First is paper electrophoresis where the paper is support medium. Next is gel electrophoresis, here agarose gel, polyacrylamide gel, star gel, such gels are used as supporting medium. Thin layer electrophoresis where silica, alumina can be used as uh, support medium. Cellulose acetate electrophoresis where the cellulose acetate membrane is used as support medium. The types of moving boundary electrophoresis are capillary electrophoresis, isotachophoresis, isoelectric focusing and immunoelectrophoresis. So these are the types of electrophoresis. This is electrophoresis instrument. The most commonly used technique is gel electrophoresis. So the instrument shown here is also gel electrophoresis and the further explanation is also related with gel electrophoresis. The major parts of this instrument are two buffer tanks, buffer field in those tanks now buffer solution is very important here because it is an electrolyte solution which carry current and it maintain the pH of sample solution. Uh, plain water or pure water cannot be used in electrophoresis because it do not carry current. Next is electrodes and power supply. Now anode and cathode they are immersed in buffer solution in separate tank and they are connected with power supply battery. Next is support media used, here in gel electrophoresis gel slab is used which is having sample wells in it. In the first sample well we have to add standard and in other sample wells we, we have to add samples. And then after applying electric current the sample and standard will start migrating in the gel. We have to compare the sample zones with standard zone. This is overall electrophoresis experiment. Now this is the actual instrument, photograph of actual instrument. It shows buffer tanks, buffer solutions, solution field in it, cathode and anode, gel slab which is mounted between the buffer tank and the gel slab having sample wells. Now and the finally power supply battery. 
Now we'll move towards practical aspects of electrophoresis. The steps involved in practical of electrophoresis are first is selection of electrophoresis method. Second is sample preparation and addition of dye. Third is preparation of support medium and buffer. Fourth is performing electrophoresis and last is detection and analysis of sample. Now first selection of electrophoresis method. Many methods of electrophoresis are available such as gel, paper, capillary electrophoresis. Depending on nature of sample to be separated, we have to select one of them. For example, agarose gel electrophoresis is often used for separation of DNA and RNA. Next is sample preparation and addition of dye. Liquid samples such as plasma proteins, serum proteins or PCR product or uh, DNA, RNA, such samples are diluted with suitable solvent and then they are loaded on gel or lyophilized powders are dissolved in suitable solvent and then used in electrophoresis. During sample preparation, a tracking dye is added in the sample solution. Now this dye is used to monitor migration of DNA into gel during the electrophoresis and this dye is also known as DNA gel loading dye. DNA, RNA or proteins are transparent in nature. So to monitor their migration or movement during the electrophoresis, this dye is used. It is generally blue in color. It consists of bromophenol blue. Now due to this uh, chemical, the blue color is there and it also consists Ficol 400. Now Ficol 400 is a dense material. The samples used in electrophoresis are light in weight such as DNA, RNA, they are very light in weight. When they are added in the wells, they may float and come out from the well. So that's why Ficol 400, a dense material is used to settle them. Instead of Ficol, glycerol can also be used. Now next step is preparation of support medium and buffer. Support medium. If we are performing zone electrophoresis, then support medium is required. It is a matrix in which sample separation takes place. It is porous in nature. Generally, the support medium used in zone electrophoresis, they are porous in nature. They may show adsorption or molecular sieving of sample. Now, uh, the support medium used may be starch. It may be paper, starch, cellulose acetate membrane agarose, polyacrylamide gel, silica or alumina. Now we will see one by one in detail. First is paper. Now paper is used in paper electrophoresis. Vatman filter paper number 1, number 3 mm are used for separation of amino acids, proteins, peptides etc. The drawback of using paper is that it show adsorption of sample on it as well as less amount of sample should be used in paper. Next is starch. It is used for separation of macromolecules on the basis of charge and molecular size. Now when starch is used, its gel is prepared in a particular buffer and from that solution gel slab is prepared and that gel slab is used in electrophoresis. Next is cellulose acetate. It is made by treating cellulose with acetic anhydride. The dry membrane of cellulose acetate is not used. It should be soaked in buffer to soften it. Next is agarose. Agarose gel is used for separation of serum, urine, CSF proteins, isozymes, etc. Separation is based on charge to mass ratio of sample particles. Agarose is used in 1% and 2% gel. 1% agarose gel has pore size larger and 2% agarose gel has pore size small. By using agarose gel, separation of proteins occur only in 5 fractions, that is 5 zones, albumin, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta and gamma globulins. Next is polyacrylamide which is also known as PAGE. Polyacrylamide is a cross-linked polymer formed by polymerization of acrylamide. It is chemically inert in nature. The gel with low percentage of polyacrylamide will have large pore size and the gel with high percentage of poly polyacrylamide will have small pore size. The separation is based on charge to mass ratio of sample particles as well as molecular mass. 
that means the separation is based on two phenomena charge to mass ratio of sample particles as well as due to molecular sieving polyacrylamide uh, gel due to overall small pore size uh, it does not allow large protein particles to migrate uh, for example uh, fibrinogen b1 lipoproteins etc the protein separation can occur in 20 fractions or 20 zones large amount of sample can be loaded on polyacrylamide gel so last two are the advantages of polyacrylamide gel uh, the gel preparation of starch agarose and polyacrylamide is given in a particular experiment so i have not discussed that part here now we'll start next buffer buffer has two main functions uh, first is buffer carry applied electric current and buffer control the ph of support medium and stabilize it so buffer is an electrolyte solution which carries the electric current as well as it maintain the ph of support medium and stabilize it now why this ph is so important maintaining ph is so important because proteins are amphoteric in nature and they have both carboxylic group and amino groups at isoelectric ph they exist as zwitterion that means the net charge on them is zero in such case electrophoresis is not possible because they are not carrying any charge to convert them into charged particles the buffer is used most of the amino acids have isoelectric ph in slightly acidic condition that is 4 to 7 and that's why the buffer used in electrophoresis of protein is slightly basic that is the pH of buffer is 7 to 8.5 at this pH proteins will carry some charge and the electrophoresis can be performed that's why maintaining pH is very important in electrophoresis buffer determine the charge on solute and ionization of solute now these are some common buffers used buffer with their ph phosphate buffer the ph is around 7 tris borate edta buffer which is known as tbe buffer the ph is 8 tris acetate edta buffer tae buffer ph is 8 tris glycine buffer tris citrate edta buffer tris edta buffer tris malic acid edta buffer so these are some common buffers used in electrophoresis with their pH. next is performing electrophoresis here dna separation is discussed in dna separation agarose gel slab is placed in electrophoresis instrument in such a way that the sample wells are close to cathode the agarose gel slab is placed such that the sample wells are close to cathode then the buffer is filled in buffer tanks so that the gel slab will dip in the buffer solution the gel slab should not be dry at any given point in the during the experiment the sample is loaded in the wells in first well standard is loaded and in remaining wells samples are loaded then safety cover is placed Electrodes are attached to the power supply battery and the voltage is set between 80 to 150 volts. After starting the power supply, current will start flowing between the two electrodes. The sample will start migrating in gel as bands. It will take one or one and a half hour for completion of separation. So this is overall uh, DNA separation experiment. The sample and standard bands will be separated on gel the last step is detection and analysis of sample after electrophoresis run is completed gel slab is removed from the instrument and placed in uv chamber for detection of sample bands ethidium bromide that is etbr is the most commonly used dye for detection of dna or rna ethidium bromide is a dna intercalator Ethidium bromide shows fluorescence when it is exposed to UV radiations. It is used by two ways. First is ethidium bromide can be added to agarose solution when the solution is at 50 degrees Celsius during the gel slab preparation. Or 
After completion of electrophoresis, the gel slab can be washed with ethidium bromide solution. When the gel slab is exposed to UV light, sample bands will start fluorescing. Then we have to check the position of sample bands with reference to the standard bands. Once the position of sample bands is matched with the standard bands, then we come to know the DNA of how much length is present in sample. For example, here in this case, the sample of number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7, they are matching with this position of standard band. The separated sample bands can be removed from the gel slab and analyzed further by other. This is about introduction principle practical aspects of electrophoresis. I hope you understood all these points. If you like my video, please share it and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.